So update on CMR. Mr. Vegas reached out to CMR since him released, since him got bail. And the story that Mr. G. Vegas got from CMR is totally opposite from the police statement. Now, CMR claimed that it's not within his household. It was with, I think, a Trini lady daughter that came over to sleep. And he got up and touched the, the girl on his shoulder, on her shoulder, and said, it's time to wake up for school. He stated that his stepdaughter was already up and playing on her, her tablet. Now, that's not what the police report stated. That's not what the police to report stated. So, I want to listen to what Mr. Vegas have to say. And just check it out. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Now, I want to talk about CMR again. People who know Mr. Vegas for years, you will understand that I am a strong advocate against these predators. As a matter of fact, I don't like them. I nearly dirt one of them, you know. I almost dirt one of them. Because he's a secondary victim, you know. Meaning, say, somebody with me related to, close to, love, got molested. So he's a secondary victim. And secondary victims, they do hurt too. So I don't like predators. However, me still leave room for a person to get due process. So I don't just jump up and ask me here people and say somebody do something. Or if somebody get arrested, I run out and say the person is dead. No. I believe in a due process. More want to see the evidence. Yeah. In this case with CMR, I have heard enough. And based on the police report, I want to tell you, CMR, say so you're sick. I mean, I say you're sick based on just the police report. May I tell you, say you're sick based on what you tell me. Yeah. You say, as a father, brother, me can't protect a predator. You say, as a father, me can't protect a child molester. Me love me picking them too much, brother. Me have a daughter, 10 years old. And me have a son, 10 years old. <laughs> I may have other children, but them they are the little one them. So when we look on a 10-year-old little girl, she's not far from a 12 or a 13-year-old little girl. Yeah. So anybody will violate a 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, whatever age, and child innocence. Once a violate a child's innocence. You're sick, brother. Baby that, brother. Now, the reason I'm even come out come come say, due process, because I still leave room for due process, no matter how me feel, because as a person with matriculated in the field of sociology, I have to deal with things objectively. You see? But with your situation, the reason why I have to let it be known so you're sick is because you're not only a monster, in my view, in my understanding, in my thoughts, you're a pathological liar. Yeah. And it hurt me for no so I said that before your trial even start, if it get to that. But whether you go to trial, yes or no, you are a pathological liar. Whether you're found guilty 
them find you guilty, yes or no, you are a pathological liar. Based on the police report and where you tell me. What you told me and what is in the police report and you spoke to me so convincing and me as a father felt obligated to go and protect your stepdaughter because the people have put our picture all over the internet worse than a family thing and everybody knew our face so I felt as a father that I must go there and tell them say it's not your stepdaughter because you told me it's not your stepdaughter you told me is somebody daughter come sleep over your house you told me it's a trini lady daughter come sleep over so right they say click to me say me know why my pit go sleep on nobody yard you know one me not sure how we go on me not know how we go on and two me no want nobody accuse me of anything but i know that the police report i said brother You see, the little girl, the mother, reported to the police. I know that the police reporter said. You see, the mother is a trini. And the little girl sleep over your house. And you went to wake her up. And you touch her upon her shoulder and said, get up. Time to school. You told me that your stepdaughter was already up playing with her iPod on the bed. You told me that your wife had to download the footage them that you had to show that you are innocent and take it to the court and that is how you got bail. You told me that they didn't even put a bangle on you. They never put no money up on you, no bracelet, excuse me. Because the judge said, why is it that the mother is saying one thing and the child is saying something else? You said the child say. So you tell me now. You said the child say to the court or in her report that she never said you touch her upon her breast. And the mother said so. You're a very dangerous brother. If what this police report is saying is what actually the child reported. And the reason why I feel obligated to do this is because I don't protect predators, brother. And I want whosoever involved to see this, to make them know that you are a liar. And they can take my phone for forensic if they need it. Because I don't like predators, brother. What in the report bothers me so much when I didn't sleep last night? Yeah. And the fact that she had to go to the school or somebody outside of the home to make a complaint about you, it's telling. The report said you pulled down her pants. The report said this happened three times. You were grooming her if this is the, ca if the case. But it's contradictory to what you told me. So where is the Trini mother, CMR? Where is the girl that sleep over CMR? As a father, you send me, you give me information and he clicked in and said, no, me must go protect this little girl because me no not want she there at school or they out there and people are say she, she get, you know, molested by her stepdaddy. So of course, me go out if it stop that bleeding there. But you open up more wounds because you're sick. If this police record is really what happened, and me get it from a legitimate site. <laughs> I 
You're crazy, brother. You need help, brother. A baby that brother. And I can't believe you. Say so nothing no go so or nothing no go on. Why? Cause you lied to me, bro. Remember say anybody for even say nothing to me, you know. Me just text you and say, brother, where this? This no look good. That's all I said to you, you know. You never have even said nothing to me. Me even said to you, say, remember, say, this can be used against you in a court of law. So, me make you know, say, me know, they have to protect you if I, something really goes so, if something really goes so. But as a father, I felt obligated to protect that little girl. But you open up more wounds. So, the beaten way I get, it will get worse because I want the world to know that you are a liar. You are a sick, sick person based on the police report. Because we still are going to leave a little 1% there. See, I know the police report that. But if that are the police report, brother, you need to go to prison. Why? Because you are no longer credible. Yeah. You're sick, bro. You are sick. I'm why your wife and your family them way would I want to protect you? No say. Me not no reason for make up nothing for you. Them for you understand say they can't defend you against a child. Because you're a liar. You're not no credibility. Yeah. Alright. More want to tell me what you think about all of this. Type it down in the comment section and make me know for yourself.